Greg's little pussy. Greg's pussy's real fucking hairy. He can't see it from now, but he doesn't. Doesn't really take care of his pussy. And it's very aggressive. Well, what's the crack? Hey, what's the crack? How are you getting on? How's your mother for turf? Here, fuck on my way. So you're a pussy and your dog Gihon Grand? I don't know whether that's unusual, you know? I don't know, I, I think it's fairly unusual. Do you, do you like your pussy? I love my pussy. Would you play with your pussy much? Ah, sometimes I don't let her walk in bed. Your pussy shouldn't be able to roll up in <laughs> There's Woodlawn, house sitting pretty. I have a couple of pictures on my old phone of my M5 parked there with that joke in the background. When I um, become a millionaire now, I'm gonna buy that spot. I'll have loads of parties. There'll be loads of writing. Loads of drugs. I won't be doing any of it. I'm a married man. But, um, I might watch. Anyone wonders why Greg has such big arms? It's from greasing these bastard nyoks. And he has had electric greasers. And they've all broke, haven't they? I even break them. He even breaks them. But sure, look. Komatsu are a great machine, but greasing them is a fucking bastard. There's five billion grease nipples there. There's a ball of them on this. And there's also one that we get a great laugh out of because hardly anyone knows about. The carrier bearing grease nipples there. You don't see it unless you turn the machine to the side. And we do get a great giggle out of the amount of lads that drive them that don't know where that grease nipple is. But to be fair now, Komatsu, when the machine is delivered, they're fucking great to come out and show everyone where all the grease nipples are in yachts. I just took out a quick load to see what part of that line is wet and see what we have to work at and I'm happy to report that every bit of it is wet. But we're just after noticing something. I came out and Greg had just straw because some animal climbed up on his machine and took a shite there. And there's the shite. Oh, Greg thinks... <laughs> No, there's no way. You think it's a squirrel? That's a new one. There's no way that a squirrel has a ring piece that big. Oh, if a squirrel can push out a fucking log that size, and I'd be fair impressed. Oh, yeah, I'll right? go up there and balance on that. Of all the places to take crap, that wasn't the most comfortable. Like, how would a fox get up there? It wasn't. It was something small. There's, that is too big a shy for a squirrel. I ain't telling you now. It had, what climbed up there? Well, I can fucking tell you that fox didn't. And, and balanced there in that land. That. Close the oak. Right. Fingers to hold on there. What would he do walking across there? A fox is as big as a dog there. How many dogs would get up onto that? No, walk? it had to be a squirrel or something. A squirrel hasn't that big a hole. What kind of shite is that? I think it was you. What is... In that shy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so, such a weird shy. Are you going to leave it there or are you going to knock it down off it? I'll get it down off it. I'll get down the, that fucking shy. What's in that shy? Test it down, see. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rotten. Well, that mystery wasn't long been solved. In fact, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a mystery at all. Just me and Greg are dopey bastards and don't know what different shites look like. Don't even know if I want to know what different shites look like. Anyway, got loads of messages and they all said the same thing. That is a Pine Martin shite. A Pine Martin. Pine Martin's a weird shite. Still doesn't explain why he was on a fucking machine. Prick. There's Grand Trooper. It's no fucking big horn, but it's a grand joke. There are two T7s. That's a big tractor for an agitator. Would they need that power? Yeah, so. I thought there was no field to do. <laughs> There's my new first best friend. Bye, Oshin. Bye. Goodbye. Still waiting for Greg. Oh, I'm always waiting for Greg.
It was a great man, Greg. There's the great Nicky. He's going in for a few loads for me. He wants to see what a 8,000 hour mint machine feels like. I know. He's down today and we have a full service done and put a new fuel sensor in it, new pad in the calipers underneath the cab and we put a frame middle joint sensor in it and he's just calibrating it and stuff so. I said I'd take this opportunity to pull me fucking wire for a minute. Oh, I'm in great form. There is no feeling like getting into your machine after a full day of maintenance and all those problems that were pissing you off are gone. Poof, gone. Never to be back again. Well, they probably will be back again, but for now, they're gone. Like, um, she was weak on one side steering. Not all the time, just every so often was losing its calibration on the cabin on the crane that was because the frame middle joint sensor was fucked on it it was constantly alarming for fuel because the sensor was fucked so we put a new one of those on it uh, the cab is nice and comfortable now because the brake pad is changed in the caliper and then full service all your oils filters everything okay, night heater's working now that wasn't working that was sitting nothing worse than waiting for oil and water to Coming into the cold weather, not having a warm cab. <laughs> Are you fucking joking? And we're setting the night heater for David's balls and dick and arsehole. So it's nice and warm in the morning. <laughs> I said to Greg, um, you know, <laughs> I'm, I, I, I said, no, I said, I'm not used to um, that kind of work, you know, being on my knees. <laughs> and Greg said, <laughs> You should have brought me. <laughs> Just, I love seeing people getting on in this world. I, I really do. Remember Mark in Port Humna that do any job. I'd say he's after doing so well in the last while he's after buying the van because there's a new sign up there and it's a uh, man with a van. Any job considered. Any job. Kidnapping, murder, get rid of a body. Big recovery job going on there now. And he's rocking along to the bee. The man Clark. <laughs> what would you do if you woke up tomorrow morning and you were a man? What? What would you do if we woke up in the morning and I was a woman and you were a man? What would you do if you woke up in the morning and you were a man? David, I have no idea. Just leave me alone. It's just a question. A hypothetical, fun question. It's not. I, I can't even answer it. Try. Ask yourself the same question. Only I know, I'd know the answer. Simple. I'd wake up at 7, I'd finger myself till 12, and then I'd spend the rest of the day learning how to drive. You know what, David? You're arch twisted. I worry. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> you know, it's just an amazing feeling when you're kind of a big deal and you get to work in the morning and people are after leaving you a drink. Which is really nice. Now, I don't drink Budweiser, but it's the thought that counts. I'm starting to appreciate all the gifts I've been left. You know, come in the morning, there's a can of Bulmers. Poor old Greg. He's, he's feeling really left out because nobody's leaving him anything. Thanks a million, whoever that was. I won't be drinking this at work, by the way. Just left the diesel tanks out in a nice clean place. It's the word on the street is the diesel lad around here wears white loafers. And I uh, wouldn't like him to get him dirty. So. All he needs to do now is get his sexy little hole out here and fill them tanks. Really, really, really hope I don't bog here today. No, I never bog, except for that one time, but we don't talk about that. You know what? Remember last weekend, me and Clark took the allies off want to get them refurbished and I'm hoping to have the van for sale this weekend. 13,800, no van, no offers. Boom! Anyway, my fifth best friend, Gary Daverin. Yeah, Martin got him. fifth. He's climbing up the ranks because you keep putting golf and your solicitor, accountant, you know, politician friends. So I better fucking get your fucking shit together or I don't know where you're gonna end up on that list.
Anyway, Gary is pedantic perfectionist. So I really need cunt. I want everything just perfect. And he said, I know the perfect crowd to fix your alleys. Queen Art Island in Galway and I'm working in Galway and if Gary says they're good, they must be good. So I dropped the alleys off to him and they text me and said they're done. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. Not the lads. Although I am looking forward to seeing the lads. But I'm not gay. Like it's not sexual. No, I'm not gay but 20 euro is 20 euro. And I'm looking forward to seeing the alleys. And I'm looking forward to seeing the lads. Sean, good luck. In a non-sexual way, you know, heterosexual, you know, I, I know he'd look well dressed up, probably looking forward to seeing the others. That school's closed down now. That was open when I was down here working last. I need a grand house for someone now. If that was up in Leash, now that would be turned into a house. Oh, someone would have bought it, renovated and turned into a house. No one would bought it. There's houses in Galway everywhere. People don't appreciate their old houses as well. If you have an old house on your land and you're leaving it derelict like that, I'll take it. Put it to my name, I'll pay any taxes that are incurred, and I will take it, I will do it up, I'll get me second best friend Martin to help me. And uh, you know, just don't be leaving them to like fuck's sake. People in Galway, well come on! There's a fucking pandemic out there! The guards in Galway know how to park. But you can park there. You can't. We came into Supermax in Loch Ray on the bypass and no sign of Pat. No sign of Pat McDonough. I'm raging because this is the nearest one to his house. No useless. Pat, you should be ashamed of yourself. I wanted to be served by you. Get your sexy little arse in here. Always wanted to meet one of my heroes. Come on, come on. I'm loving that girl. <laughs> What's what? It's not moving till I get a focus on it. It's a bit of a timber wasp. Is it? Wait, do you see a fucking nappy on it? He's a dirty, rotten cunt, that's what he is. Put on the wiper. Oh, yeah. Ah, you got a puck in the fucking mouth and you're very little. Look, you can get Mickey the arse. Hey, great doing business with you. <laughs> hey, don't bog on the way out. Give it to her. <laughs> See ya. Give it to her. Drop it. Drop the roof. Drop it. Drop the roof. Drop it. I can't wait any longer. I'm going to tip Anne up and get my allies. I don't want to be holding up Greg when we are going home. He won't miss me for a few minutes anyway. He won't. Jesus, I wonder if we'd detect the allies for that. Jeez, that is a great job. Sure it's better than brand new. Nice. Ladies are getting it done. Getting it fucking done. Big boss man. <laughs> no lads are doing well for themselves. Just be rude not to turn it on, wouldn't it? It's not gear rat. Big box from Saturday's fuels, and uh, they didn't it's just a big give him change, isn't it? Yeah, so was you. yeah, they gave him a jumper and they gave him a look, jacket. jackets and uh, oh, fair wow. play to him. Fair, they know you're spending the big bucks, you see. Or something. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? It suits you. See, normally, well, normally lads bring out stuff at sexy sizes like large and medium for me and Gareth. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, they hand you the stuff that you know, the triple X's and, and <laughs> Billy. Billy! Billy! He's up turning, look. How are we going? Hey! You have a massive big horn on both sides of your. Hey! Billy! Billy! Come back when I'm talking to you, <laughs> Billy! <laughs> Stop, Greg. Don't go. 
Don't go, don't go, don't go and hand out the window cool as fuck. Don't go, Greg. Don't go. Don't. Shut the f up. Don't go. Don't. Don't. No. Are you gonna stay doing that until you go green? Yep. Don't. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Greg. Greg. Greg, look. Greg, no. You can go. You can go. 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 Go over. You are a pain in the hole. Oh, look at it. Look at this lad. Oh, and Gavin. Nice. It's a fucking tag as well. So fucking bad. That's great driving, Greg. Well done. <laughs> way. Right of way. Careful now. Careful. Speed bump. I didn't go over that like you did yesterday. I wasn't expecting that the suspension was going to be so fucking bad on it. Right. Now, be careful here. Careful now. Careful now. David, you Stop. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. How are we going? Uh, Yep, no. That's Adam. Is it? Mm. Oh, by Adam. No, there's a lad now with his fucking goats. No, go, 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 go. Careful now, missus. No, no, hold on. Seriously now, are you yours? It's green. Click! Don't touch my phone. Hey, look, they're not goats, they're horses. There's horses in that. Don't walk. Don't. Now, go. Look at this. Oh Jesus, stay where you are. Stay where you are, woman. Do not. Fuck, I thought we wouldn't go a bird with our lives there. So mount women on the road. You think they all can't drive, don't you? No, That's true. no. I don't think all women can't drive. I just think most of them are really bad drivers. But there, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in that. Like, ladies, you're listening. Look, most men won't tell you the truth. But like, you're better at loads of other things than men. Like, and we can't do stuff that you can do. Like what? You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. You're backing me into a corner. So I'm going to say, Nick. <laughs> ah, I'm only fucking joking. Calm the fuck down. But you know, like, uh, what really bothers me about women, what really is not driving, it's not anything like that. And women that are listening, why is it you have the now disease? Like, how come, like, Vicky could be sitting on the couch thinking about things? Next thing you saw, David, do this. And if I don't do it that very second, if I don't drop everything I'm doing that very second, freak out, say I do nothing for her. Vicky's working till about 12, so I'm on daddy duty. Hopefully it all works out easy. I can't see, I can't see it being hard in any way. Right? As long as she... As long as she doesn't have a freak out, you know yourself. Yeah. Just the remains of the yogurt that I just fed her. And I used the metal spoon, which Vicky said I couldn't use. And uh, look. No cuts, no bruises. Yeah, she's a little bit grumpy, but what can you do? She's tired. But I'm going to keep her awake as long as I can. I'm going to play with her, and we're going to get her bottle, and then we're going to put you to bed, and hopefully she won't start for the rest of the night. Easy peasy. This is daddy stuff. Simple. Look. They're, they're, they're having a party. Well, I just um, fed her yogurt, and I used... The metal spoon that Vicky said that I wasn't supposed to use and she's, she's all okay, no bother on her. And I'm going to keep her up as long as I can. So she's so tired that when I give her that last bath, she's going to sleep like sleeping beauty for the rest of the night. And then I'm going to do nothing. Isn't that right?
Jane. Jane. What's the crack? What's the crack? What's the crack? What's the crack? Nah, this daddy stuff is easy peasy. I don't know what all you women to be giving out about. Yay! 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 <laughs> Are you tired? I know you're tired. Give in. Just give in. Go on. I know you're tired. I know you are. I can stay up way longer than you. Steady. Go! Well done. What did you think, Jane? Was that good? Was that fast? Was that fast? I have to say, she's putting up a great fight. Thought she'd be asleep by now. So, you know, Jane won, Daddy zero.